Hey everyone, it's James Lambert, the motivational coach and speaker. I went from knockouts to knowledge and from headlocks to hugs. I still embrace people, just now in a different way. In this video, I want to share a wonderful piece of writing. It's an ancient Hasidic saying. Allow me to share it with you in the hopes that it encourages you. When you walk across the fields with your mind pure and holy, then from all the stones and all growing things and all animals, the sparks of their soul come out and cling to you and then they are purified and become a holy fire in you. And as I say, that spoke to me and I just wanted to share, share that with you. As, you. as always, come to your own conclusions. But to me, it's if everything in this unified film field of oneness, if we are all interconnected, as increasingly they're finding out we are, and if everything is made to varying extent of energy, vibrating at a different level to become solid matter or mass, then if it is all, if we are part of this quantum soup, this energetic field, then it makes sense that we can draw that energy from our surroundings. Indeed, I believe we do. Because when I was around negative, low vibration, low energy, my thoughts were very different. The conversations were very different. You know, the, the thoughts, the, the intent, the menace, the violence, the hate, the, it's low vibrational. But you see that the happier I've got in my life, it's, it's high energy, the positivity, the love, the kindness, the compassion, the peace, the happiness, the joy, all of those beautiful things, beautiful things, love, love being the, the highest frequency. So it spoke to me that even wherever you are, even if you live in the middle of the urban jungle, when you go for a walk, breathe deep, deep, deeply. And if you spot even the the slightest grass or rose that is growing from the concrete, take energy from that, be uplifted, see it in the smile of a child or your loved one, notice it from the sun in your face, even the clouds, the rain, take, draw energy from your beautiful surroundings, for they are beautiful, for they are beautiful, even if you are in the largest estate or the worst ghetto in the world, they are beautiful, for it exists by virtue of you being there. It's beautiful. So I hope that, that has encouraged you, but also given you food for thought if you've never thought about taking energy from your surroundings. And remember, to a large extent, you can you can control that. Again, even if you lived, when I lived in the worst bedsit, I controlled my environment. I could choose the magazines, what I looked at, the uplifting videos you watch, or if you create a vision board, you know, inspiring images you make out of a, mag a magazine that empower you, that uplift you you have the power to do so. It's within your control. So as always, I hope you found value in the video. You are unstoppable and I believe in you.